Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I want to share with you guys this body scrub that I almost sold on my shop. It's a foaming body scrub, and I did a lot of experiments until I fell on this formula being my favorite. So I really like the formula, but I'm going to be honest, once I scaled up the formula, it did not turn out the same way as it did when I made a 100 gram batch. This is just something that happens when you scale up formulas. So when I made it before, it was a lot softer. This one turns out way harder, but I'm going to share with you guys anyways. So you do need to keep that in mind if you're selling products, you need to experiment with making it in larger batches before you go to sell it in case something like this happens. Phase A, all you need is a heat safe mixing bowl and add 30 grams of stearic acid. You wanna add it in a bowl because we're gonna put everything in this at the end. Then grab another heat safe container for phase B and we're gonna use 54 grams of SCI. That's 9% SCI. Make sure you are wearing a respirator when working with SCI. And then I'm gonna add in 36 grams of cocomutyl propyl betaine. We're gonna gently mix the two together, try not to get SCI everywhere, and it turns into like a really thick paste. It'll be really hard to mix. Now you can remove your respirator and work on phase C, which is 24 grams of distilled water and then 72 grams of glycerin. Now what you wanna do is create a water bath. I had to make two different water baths, just fill a pan with like a little bit of water just depends on how big your containers are and put all your beakers and bowls in there on like medium heat and mix the SCI and cocomutopropyl betaine periodically to help like soften it and mix it all together. It'll be a paste like this, but it'll be much softer and more malleable so you can actually mix it up. Now you want to take the distilled water and glycerin, weigh it and make sure nothing evaporated, um, but you want to go ahead and pour that into the SCI in cocomutyl propyl betaine and mix it gently. You wanna try not to create like a bunch of lather and bubbles and stuff. So just mix it a little bit and it'll be like this chunky kind of like watery concoction kind of thing. It's not gonna look that great. That's normal here. And then pour that into the stearic acid bowl and then just mix it with a whisk. That's what I like to use as a whisk here. And you just wanna keep it on medium heat and just come back and keep mixing it periodically until all the chunks are completely dissolved. And you'll end up with like this paste that looks like this and it'll be all like nice and smooth. It might be pretty thick. It just depends. Like, like I said, the first time I made this, it wasn't this thick. But anyways, once it's cooled to like hundred degrees Fahrenheit, you can put in your phase D ingredients. I use six grams of my fragrance oil. You can use whatever fragrance oil you would like. And then three grams of Liquid Dermal Plus. This is my preservative. And then I just mixed everything together here. And then I added in a water soluble liquid dye from Elements Bath and Body, or you can get it from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'll have everything linked down below. And then I mix that in. Now it's time for the sugar. I used 374 grams of white granulated sugar. This is just basic sugar. I did make a 600 gram batch here. I don't know if I mentioned that at all in the video yet, but I made 600 gram batch. So yeah, scaling up from a hundred gram batch to 600 gram batch changed the viscosity greatly. Unless, I don't know, maybe I did something different this time, or maybe I did something different in the first initial experiment. I don't know. This is why you need to experiment and make things several times because littlest changes can make the biggest differences because this was so hard for me to mix here. I was just like, oh, this is not the way I remember it. This is like packed in. Basically, I eventually just started mixing it by hand. It was so much easier. Just make sure your gloves are clean and the scrub wasn't sticky. So honestly, like th this is kind of a great formula if this is what you're going for because it's kind of fun because it's so thick. And I think it would be great for like kids to play with in the bath. I know my niece would love this stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just sharing a failed formula with you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, just cover it. Let it sit overnight because, you know, it's going to get harder again overnight. And honestly, I really don't think it got much harder the next day. But like here it is. It's, it's pretty smooth. Like you can really like just like squeeze it extremely easily. So overall, like it is a cool textured scrub. It's just not what I was going for. So if this is like a texture you're looking for, then that's great. You can like mold it into shape. So you can do some fun stuff with it. You can make it into like a ball or whatever, whatever you want to do. 
I don't know. But anyways, here I'm just like, all right, you know what? I'll just split it in half and let's color the other half a different color. So I picked out an emerald green color and I just put a few drops and I just mix it with my hands and there we go. We have this like blue and green and I, I literally had no idea what I was doing here. I was like, okay, I don't know how to put it in my jar like aesthetically. Like how can I do it? So I was like, why don't I try like twisting them up or doing something cool, you know? Because right now they're kind of like um, bubble bars consistency. Which, by the way, I want to make bubble bars so bad. Surprisingly, I've never made a bubble bar before. But anyways, I just like rolled them and then twisted them. I don't know. You see what I'm doing here. And I just kept like twisting them. I had literally no idea what I was doing. This was like the fifth video I recorded that day. So I was kind of just like over it. Yeah, I just like shoved it in this jar. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this formula anyway. And yeah, I just like squished it all in there. And then I did the same with the other one. In the end, they ended up looking like the planet Earth. I don't know how it happened, but basically these are just like planet Earth scrubs. It would have been perfect for Earth Day, but it's not Earth Day. But yeah, I don't really know what this video was. I had to pre-record a month's worth of videos, so I just recorded a bunch of videos last minute. I got carpal tunnel release surgery on August 31st, so while you're watching this, I should be like in the recovery process of it, and I should be able to come back to work sometime, sometime in October, fully recovered from carpal tunnel and I can start editing videos without pain and replying to messages without pain. So I'm excited for that. Hope you guys are excited and I'll talk to you guys in my next video later. I'm